Honeybees play an important role in nature and in agriculture. They are responsible for pollinating many of our fruit and vegetable crops. Bees accomplish this task by flying from one flower to another, gathering both nectar, which they use to produce honey, and pollen. In the process, they deliver this pollen to the flowers that need it for fertilization. The fertilized plant then produces a seed, which may be a fruit, nut, or vegetable. To pollinate, say, an apple orchard, a farmer will rely on beekeepers to supply the beehives. Without bees, our food supply could be at serious risk. By now, you've probably heard of colony collapse disorder. Also known as CCD, this term is given to honeybee colonies that mysteriously disappear from their hives. Oh, and by the way, a single hive may contain between 20,000 and 70,000 bees. Has this phenomenon appeared locally? We start by visiting the Salem Saturday Market to speak with beekeeper Warren Kester. His bees are expected to produce 21,000 pounds of honey this year. Well, colony collapse uh, is the failure of the bee of a bee colony, and it came came up um, last year, last couple years, and it, colonies were just going down. Um, they were just dying out, and kind of mysteriously, um, you'd have these bee yards, 40, 50, 100 colonies in a bee yard, get going into winter, fall, you know, getting ready to winter, and seemingly in good condition, treated for mites, you know, uh, uh, fed, all the things you can think of to do, you know, and yet they were failing, and it, it was kind of mysterious as to why. I didn't, I don't really know if I can blame last winter's, any of last winter's losses on colony collapse, but yeah. But the year before, I did. We, we lost about 40% of our bees. The two, 2006, 2007 winter. Uh -huh. Well, this this last winter was a lot lighter, and we only lost about 25% of them. But like I say, winter before last, I had colonies here and there, not not a lot of them, but there'd be a dead colony. There are no bees left in the hive. None. 25, 30 pounds of honey left, and feed sugar left in the hive. No evidence of that they went drone layer, which is a, a, an infertile queen. No evidence of any real, you know, foul brood or, you know, bad, any disease that you can point to. And no dead bees in the hive. Yeah. Just empty. Well, you know that the, that colony was alive. There's 25 pounds of honey in there. It died in the winter. Yeah. They left that hive in the winter because otherwise there wouldn't be any honey left in it. The other colonies would have robbed it out if it had happened while it was still warm enough for them to fly. So. Yeah, that I mean that fits the scenario pretty well. And the thing is, you can you can manage one colony the same you know way, and, and have generally speaking, they'll they'll do the same. But then you'll have one that'll do something different. They do what they do, and we just try to kind of manage them to do what they do and to our benefit. And that's yeah. do the best you can. do the best you can. Yeah. You know, what seems logical, what seems right. You know, I'm not thinking I'm going to get run out of business because they're all going to die this winter. Yeah. I'm going to do my best to make sure it doesn't happen. I know there's been outfits that have, but, you know, um, it's survival of the fittest in the end, you know. Um, you know, if, it, if, I, if I do get crushed, I get crushed. That's the way it goes. Mm -hmm.